this devil fruit I skipped because we recently discovered that this fruit has extra powers that we didn't know about. But the pawpaw fruit eaten by Bacalamu Kuma is an not aptly named fruit as Odas tend to do. The pawpaw fruit, while yes, giving you little paw pads on your hands, is more like the repel repel fruit in a sense that it can repel things and push things out of the way. As long as you're fast enough and have access to your hands, the pawpaw fruit makes you almost untouchable. I mean, you get punched and you just boop, blast them away. This is actually how Kuma managed to separate the entirety of the Straw Hat Pirates for two years. Uh, he did keep them safe, though, because he put a little protective bubble around them and they got they went flying and it just pops whenever they get to their destination. But to be honest, this fruit is interesting in the whole lore of One Piece. Not only can it reflect uh, physical and energy-based things, but it also can reflect pain and push memories out of your head. But as well as that, it gives tangibility to these objects. Things that you can't actually touch become a tangible thing. With pain, it becomes a big old red orb that if you touch it, you feel all the pain that he pushed out immediately all at once. But don't worry, nothing happened. You can also turn air into a bubble and make it explode and shoot it out like an air cannon, so that's kind of cool. An interesting thing about this fruit, though, that I don't see people talking about is not only does it grant tangibility to these things, but, you know, if it's like a memory or something, you can put your head inside and see these memories. You can push out your own memories, other people's memories, but you're giving tangibility and existence to things that aren't really a tangible thing you can find. I mean, like, wind is tangible, yes. Pain is kind of tangible if you think about it. But memories aren't. And to give these sorts of things actual tangibility and viewability, you think if Kuma got awakened, could he push the devil fruit out of somebody? And could he just erase the devil fruit? Not erase it so much, but push it out of them and remove that person's devil fruit ability? Would he actually be a counter to that given enough training and enough power and, you know, straight up awakening? Because we're not really you know, guaranteed to know everything about devil fruits. Like, we don't know everything about them. As far as we're aware, as far as the lore goes, there's a little devil sitting inside your stomach. Now, that could just be, you know, lore-wise, like, that, that's a myth in lore, that that's what devil fruits are. But what if that's not so much a myth? That's actual reality. Like, what if Kuma actually pushed the devil out of your stomach and you lose your devil fruit powers? and then, But that devil fruit can't go back into circulation because the devil is now outside of your body, but it's not dead. It's just something to think about. I don't know. I like that. I like that idea. I don't think it's ever going to happen, but it'd be interesting.